851, turn right, heading 180. Hey everyone, I'd like to welcome you back to DJ's Aviation and another episode in the future of an airline series. Today's focus, as requested on my Patreon, is Delta, an airline which is a major player in the United States with hubs across the country, including in Los Angeles, Atlanta, Detroit, New York, and Seattle. The carrier operates thousands of daily flights and has an expansive fleet. In today's episode, I plan to discuss what's next for the airline, looking at their expansion plans, fleet replacement, and future fleet. We'll begin with their fleet though, as you may be aware, something that does interest me greatly. Similar to American Airlines, the last airline I covered on the channel in this series, the Delta fleet is not only large, but the variety of aircraft they operate is what is even more startling. What I'll do now is go over every single aircraft they operate, and then after that, we'll have a talk about their future. The airline operates one A220-100, which was delivered in recent days to them. They fly the A319-100 and have over 50 at their disposal. Continuing on, the A320 family is popular, with both the A320-200 and the A321-200 featuring. The airline has the A330-200 and the A330-300 operating as well, with close to 50 A330s combined flying with them. Next up is the A350-900. Fun fact, Delta was actually the first in the United States to fly the aircraft. At this stage, the airline has just 11 in service. They operate a number of Boeing aircraft as well, highlighting how they are a carrier which certainly doesn't stick to just one manufacturer. Their fleet of Boeing aircraft includes the 717-200, 737 737-800, 737-900ER, moving on to larger aircraft, next on their list is both the 757-200 and the 757-300. They actually have over 100-200s in their fleet and are therefore the largest operator of that variant. The 767-300 features in their fleet, but they have very few. The 300ER variant is by far the more popular with 50 plus. They also operate the longer 767-400ER. Their final two Boeing aircraft are the 777-200ER and the 777-200LR. They operate around 150 McDonnell Douglas aircraft, with the MD-88 and the MD-90 finally featuring. What's next for the airline, though, in fleet replacement as well as new orders? The airline will be welcoming a further 74 A220-100s in the future. The A220-100 is set to replace the 717-200 aircraft. Meanwhile, their A321-NEOs and also A321-200s will help replace three aircraft types, including the MD-88, MD-90, and the 757-200s. The carrier will also welcome in the A330neo as well from 2020, and this aircraft will help replace their 767-300ERs. They will welcome a further 14 at this stage A350s to their fleet. Their 737-900ERs will also replace the MD-88, MD-90, and the 757-200. Meanwhile, they'll say goodbye to their 767-300s and other aircraft. Delta is undergoing a major streamline, and similar to other American carriers, they've realised that while this sort of extensive fleet was beneficial decades ago, now aircraft are purposely built to do things that, say, four aircraft types could from 40 years ago. This results in airlines having less aircraft types, but ordering more aircraft overall. Examples of this include the A321neo and the A22100 within Delta's fleet. These various orders do have options available to the airline should they wish to activate them. For instance, there are some 50 additional options for the A22100, and this is on top of their original order for 75. What about routes? Delta are an airline, thankfully, which has actually perfectly outlined their expansion in various different interviews, which suddenly makes my job a lot easier. Ed Bastian, the Delta CEO, has completed interviews with the likes of USA Today, Bloomberg, and Reuters. However, we can learn more about their expansion today through his interview with USA Today just a few months ago. During this interview, we learned more about what their future would actually entail. The airline is eyeing more flights to Asia and Europe. Bastian believes that these two areas are key for the airline's growth. In May of this year, the airline announced it would return to India and would also start flights to Seoul, which would take place through a joint venture with Korean Air. 
Another thing Delta wants is to create less competition across the Atlantic by using joint ventures with the likes of Virgin Atlantic and the Air France slash KLM group. Bastion said, long term at Delta, I think our opportunity is international. India is a location that Delta believe they can actually thrive in, with Bastion further commenting, saying, it's a high technology field. There's a tremendous amount of innovation that's going on in the Indian marketplace adding, I think it's going to be a tremendous opportunity. In addition, these joint ventures will benefit the airline with their sole route with Korean Air, resulting in passengers being able to transfer onto different routes throughout Asia. Bastion commented on this to the USA Today, saying, As we bring customers to Seoul, Korean can distribute them on a non-stop basis to 80 different destinations, including 30 destinations in China alone, with one of the most efficient hubs in the world. While there is certainly much more to an airline's future than, say, expansion and fleet, these two areas really do interest me the most. What are your thoughts on Delta? Let me know in the comment section below, as always. Also, feel free to drop an airline you'd like me to cover in the comment section below. I'd like to thank you very much for tuning into this video of mine, and I do very much look forward